Hello to all of YouTube. This is my Thomas Wooden Railway Collection. I am making a video about it, and we are beginning here. To start off, this right here is my 1993, I'm thinking, Thomas. He's my primary Thomas just because I like how you can see how he was put together. The speckled coal, the beveled funnel, the face that perfectly matches like Thomas Pershing in the mail train, the last frame anyway. And I just think he's probably the best Thomas. And that was, that Thomas behind him is the Thomas that I had since a childhood. It's an older one with a plastic funnel whose eyes got rubbed out and I tried to put them back in but they look like zombie eyes now which I thought was so funny I decided to put as my channel icon but uh, let's put him away behind that there's a hit entertainment era Thomas with no stripes three of them with stripes and then there's one back there that is, looks like a 2011 Thomas which actually came with this Napford station along with some Annie and Clarabelle's uh, I don't know if you can see it, but he has banners on the side. It's a pretty ugly face, though. And as for variation Thomases, here is the shock face Thomas. A Thomas comes to breakfast. A 60-year edition gold Thomas. The Thomas 2015 from the 70th anniversary gift pack. The Thomas 1942 of the 70th anniversary gift pack. Which one of these would kids like better? I don't know, but I know which one we like better. And this is this is a hit entertainment by Thomas, which I decided to repaint into the Adventure Begins livery. wasn't very successful on the wheels, but I was pretty happy with it. Green, and you probably can't tell because of the lighting in this room, but. He's not as green as he looks. He's actually a little more teal, as he's supposed to be. Anyway, here is my Edward Henry. It's an old style Henry with a plastic funnel, though recently in a lot I also got a painted coal tender Henry, though honestly I like plastic coal better. I mean, painted coal is more nostalgic, but I think this one is just a better product. Gordon from some era, not sure. And here is my Hit Entertainment era James. Plastic, plastic funnel and coal of course, but I was so dissatisfied with the face that I decided to order this old style James which has a wooden funnel and plastic coal, I'm uh, sorry, painted coal tender. So I'll probably use like the paint the plastic coal on the old style James. I don't mind the wood funnels as much, but painted coal I just don't think looks as impressive. Especially if I had it on a character like Donald or Douglas. I don't, but I think it would look too good. Anyway, after those Jameses, I have an Origins James or Introducing James, which I think is kind of a stupid name. I prefer Origins, even though Mattel didn't. An old style Percy, which was meant to replace these two new style Percy's, one of which has had a lot of paint loss on the boiler, the other of which got the same treatment as that Thomas with zombie eyes. A 60 year edition silver Percy, a Toby, Duck, Donald, Douglas, Oliver, three Mavises, including this last one here from 1996. And just to jump over for a second, I have these two. This is a Bill and this is a Ben. They're from Hit Entertainment era. And this one is a 1994 Ben, which I got in the same lot as that Henry Tender. And it was in pretty beat up condition, so I thought, eh, I'll just use this Ben. But then I examined it closer, and that's a very accurate face to the TV series. Whereas this just looks kind of silly, but it's like, I don't have a 1994 bill, so 
face or condition? Which is more important to me? I'll decide. That's Boko there. Daisy. A light and sound Emily. Hello, I'm Sh all Shut up. You might ask, why do I have a lights and sounds, Emily, if I don't like lights and sounds? Just because it's the only Emily I have. I don't even remember buying it. Must have been when I was a kid. But one thing I did buy was streamlined Emily. Hate it? I don't care. I think it's fine. The only thing I don't understand is why she needs front magnets when streamlined engines don't have that. Connor and Caitlin had the same thing, and I don't get it there either. Salty... Harvey, Fergus, Spencer, a living meme, Rosie, Victor, Hero, Gator, Ryan, Bert, Mike, no Rex, and the old style flying Scotsman, which, call me a copycat, whatever, is actually one of my favorite items. I don't care what the heck Eric Pierre says about big city engine with it's much better to him. Though ironically, I do have Big City Engine's tender. I don't know how the heck I got that. I don't even have Big City Engine, but I have the tender. So I'll just put it on the back of Scotsman. And moving on to narrow gauge engines, this new style Scarloe, and another new style Scarloe I had that I actually painted green. Guess who he is now? An old style Scarloe that I got along with this old style Reneus. I don't know how this Scarlo is much more beat up. Maybe the people there didn't like Reneus. But whatever. I got this Reneus just because he looks actually pretty good and I wanted to replace these two Reneuses. And I ordered this sorry. I ordered this online, but this is clearly supposed to be a 2004 Reneus, but he has Ivo Hughes face. At first I thought maybe I got a knockoff, but then I realized I bought him for $10, not 2 So, I don't know what the heck happened here. And I think if it was a knockoff, I don't think they had the talent to reproduce Ivo Hughes' face so well, but that was just so odd to me. So I got that to replace him. In addition, I got that yellow Reneus shortly after I got this, but I was dissatisfied with that as well. There's a new style Sir Handel. Well, I shouldn't really say new style. Hit Entertainment era Sir Handel. Along with this, I think, old style Peter Sam. Here's a first edition Rusty that I got in the same lot as the Henry and the Ben. The Rusty I had for a while with this thing. Rob will tell you about that. Duncan Ivo Hue, which I knew that was Ivo... I know that was Ivo Hue's face on Renee's, because I've had this Ivo Hue actually since I was a kid. I don't know why, but I do. But I did. Sorry. Grammar errors. Duke. His arch enemy Smudger. The creepiest engine ever. Mighty Mac. Like, don't even bug Coldy. Like, this is spooky. I do not understand. Proteus. An old style Stepney, a 2005 Coldy, which looks pretty accurate to me, a Hit Entertainment era Lady, Diesel, and back there you'll see a bronze Diesel, and bought this, but the funny thing about it is that the magnets are actually the wrong way, so like, I try that. It's not connecting well, but if I do this, it connects. So he's either got a backwards chassis or a backwards body. I wish it was both. Then they'd cancel each other out. The creepy face diesel 10, a CGI face diesel 10, which I was so disappointed in, I disgraced him by breaking off his claw. Splatter and Dodge, Aryan Burt, and this here is an old style D199 that I customed into Bear. Yeah, another case of copyright. I'm ripping off Enterprising Engine 93. A Mattel era D199, so if I ever need D199, I'll use that instead. 
an old style Annie and Clarabelle, which I've had since I was a kid, a Henrietta, a Catherine, to go along with Colby, the Express Coach, and three red coaches that I plan on using for the narrow gauge engines as a replication of what we saw in the episode four little engines. And the thing about these is that these first two here were actually new were actually new style Annie and Clarabelle's that came with that ugly Thomas back there. But I repainted them because I think these were just more nostalgic to me. And this third one back here, which you can see the roof looks a bit different, this was actually a custom coach that I ordered a few years back and I actually painted it into a troublesome brake van but I thought it looked pretty terrible so I decided to just scrub off the face and repaint it and start all over again and those are the narrow gauge coaches I don't have faces on them yet but I think I will the giggling troublesome trucks with dead batteries a gray troublesome truck Probably can't see his face, but you know what he looks like. And a white-faced troublesome truck, which, sorry to the people who bought it on Twitter, but this is a custom. This is not real. The, I, I took a gray troublesome truck, obviously. I painted it white. Well, not white, lighter gray. I maj podged down the face. That's not a sticker there. But... The interesting thing I noticed is while I was racking my brain to figure out what shade I should paint it at, because I did it like five times, I realized it looks, when you see videos of people comparing white faces to gray faces, when they have light on them, the white faces look much whiter, but when you don't have the proper light on them, they can look almost the same as the gray one. And I know that's not actually the color, but because of the paint I use, this now looks lighter than the gray one all the time, which is kind of an indication that it's a... F and it's a fabricated truck. I mean, you can't even tell there's like fault in the Maj Pajing there and there, and the face is a little crooked. And for the Gray Troublesome Truck, I actually bought a 1993 Gray Troublesome Truck so that it had the staples in the bottom, the flat magnets, but no staples in the front. Because at the time, I thought maybe I could get away with calling it a real white face, but I'm not gonna lie. I never did lie on Twitter, by the way. I just had him in the background and people made assumptions. An old style scruffy, a new style scruffy, and I actually like this better purely for the face. I mean that's technically a bit cooler and that's also his face. And the orange wheels give the off the indication that he's rusting, but I don't know, I just like this one better for some reason. Fred Pele, rickety, who can turn sideways, I'm not gonna do it here. The Northwestern brake van, Toad, who you can't see back there. A Soderline line caboose. Two Tidmouth milk tankers, the latter of which came in that same lot as the Rusty, the Ben, everything else. A tar tanker, a fuel tanker, a... Lots of words. A cargo holder. One Soder China clay car that was also in that same lot as everything else. It's the red one. I don't have the green one, though. The new style Chinese dragon, which confuses me because, I don't know, the face looks, looks so odd. I mean, if that's supposed to be his tongue sticking out and that's his nose, then why is it that when you look down this way, there's that red lining that looks like his mouth is shut? So is it supposed... So are you supposed to be able to see a different thing from two different angles? That just perplexes me. It almost makes me want an old style Chinese dragon. A breakdown train. A flower barrel car that came with Toby's windmill. A log car, two logs, that came with the Tidmouth timber yard, which I've had since I was a kid. A Favarquar quarry car, which has that same piece as the new style Scruffy. The jet engine, which came with that surprise Thomas and the zoo cars which came with there he is, Ivo Hugh and as for road vehicles my primary birdie is an old style one I had the new style one since I was a kid but I just thought passengers look passengers look better, the face looks better yes yeah, smoker and all, the passengers look better this birdie again was from that same lot as everything else but it has a sticker on the side because 
I guess the previous owner thought that'd be cool. A bulgy, Terrence, Trevor, George, Alfie. I don't have Jack, but I have Alfie, which is really weird. Should have had his car. Harold, Skiff, and the Sodor Bay tugboat, which again was in that same lot as everything. And I got that lot of everything you saw for just ten bucks. This thing costs thirty-five dollars on its own. This is ten bucks on its own. I got the whole thing for ten. And this tugboat was chimney's obviously been scraped off, but you can tell it was red. And from this thing at the bottom, it says limited nineteen ninety-four. And one of the things I am proudest to own is this Brio 2015 Special Edition Bullet Train, which I got courtesy of these guys. Key Grade 24, Sidekick Jason, Enterprising Engine 93. There's your signatures on the back. His is unreadable. But they sent me this thing in the auction. Thank you very much for that. They named her Monique. And I'm just very happy to have her. Put her in the box. Very easily removable. 2015 on it. And that'll be very interesting to see what I can do with a character like that. So anyway, that's my Thomas Wooden Railway collection. I hope you enjoyed learning about the collection of someone you've never heard of before. Thomas the Small Engine says goodbye to YouTube. Not forever.